Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature drum set using no polymer clay. If you like this miniature, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, a comment, or subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. For this project, I'm using an aluminum baking pan, a piece of plastic packaging, a wooden skewer stick, a plastic stir straw, several toothpicks, some wire, and several sheets of paper. I'm also using an enamel model paint, and that's only because it has a very high sheen and is exceedingly durable. Now I cut my cardstock into several strips, and these were pre-measured to fit um, to make drums. And then I painted the inside of it silver, but of course you can go with white, black, flesh tone, whatever color you prefer for the inside of your drums. I cut a circle that would fit over it, and then I glued my drum together, and then drew and painted a logo on my circle. Putting a quarter or another coin at the bottom of the drum, I pushed the circle on the inside with the painted side down. And that way there would be a little lip over the front of the drum. Then I cut using white pieces of paper all the shapes that fit over the rest of the drums. These can glue directly on top because these drums are going to have little silver borders around them. Then I gave each one two coats of the model enamel paint. Now of course, like I said before, the model enamel paint is very thick and it's, it helps to add sturdiness to the drum, but it's not necessary if you just have a regular paint, you can use that as well. And then I'm using a small piece of wire and I'm gluing that on the inside of the drum and also two more pieces on the outside of the drum, one at the front and one at the back. I cut out small pieces of plastic packaging to fit the bottom of the drum and glue those in place as well. Again, this just helps to make it sturdy. And then using tiny little squares of aluminum, I fold them over twice. And I'm trying to show this on the larger piece of aluminum, but I held it a little too close to the camera so you don't really get a good view of it. And then at the bottom, I folded it in twice on either side so it made a little triangle and then I clip those on the edge of the drum. That way there's a little hole at the back and then for the bottom of the drum, I wrap small pieces of flattened aluminum into circles and cut them off and then glue those in place. Then I straighten some wire and then I can push the wire from the small piece of cylinder up into the bottom of the triangle and then glue that in place as well. I cut two toothpicks into four pieces at an angle and then painted those silver and glued them to the bottom of my drum. And then to make the borders for the mounted toms, the two drums that are on top of the bass drum, I straightened and flattened some aluminum. And then using my needle tool, I kind of sketched in the line going across the middle. This will help me score it so I can fold it easily. Flatten it again and then cut off the excess. I glued these to the top and the bottom of all the rest of the drums. And then I rolled some aluminum around pieces of wire to make the decorative inserts at the bottom to go around the other drums. Using a skewer stick, I cut off two small pieces 
and then to look like mounts, I also cut out little ovals from the aluminum. Glue the ovals in place, and then paint the skewer and all those little part parts silver, and glue those in place on the top drops. And then I use several toothpicks for this next portion. And for all the toothpicks from this point forward that I use, I'm cutting off the tips of them. I put the tips to the side, and while I don't show myself doing this, I glue two tips to each other with the wider parts facing each other, and then put them to the side because these will be the adjustment valves at the end. And then I cut the toothpicks at an angle. These are making the stands for the snare drum and the floor tom. I'm also using the coffee stirrer strap for this part as well. And I cut that into a small piece, maybe about an inch long, and glue the toothpicks to it. Then I cut these small portions of aluminum fed a toothpick through the straw. This should have a blunt bottom edge. And then I glued the aluminum going from the bottom edge of the toothpick up to the three legs. Then I painted the whole assembly silver and then used the piece of plastic packaging to put on top. This way you can use, you can glue the packaging on the top of the stand the plastic packaging is glued at the bottom of the drum. I made the symbol stands the same way, and this is how it looks when it's raw, unpainted. So you can see there's toothpicks and straws, and then the top of the, um, the two tips of the toothpicks are on top of some foil that's been twisted around the straw. And then for the small set of symbols, I glued a little piece of wire at the top, and for the large set of symbols, I glued another piece of toothpick at an angle coming out and then a piece of wire to that. And I'm making the symbols the same way I did with the paper pots and pans in one of my previous videos. And I'll put a link to that in the description box. I made the little black piece there out of some aluminum that I just bent in the shape, painted black, and then punched holes into the paper and the aluminum and then fed them over the wire paint the entire assembly silver, except for the copper piece, and that was what I painted gold, and then I painted the toothpick ends that are glued together black. And then finally for drumsticks, I used two toothpicks, and I sanded the top of them. I'm just trying to round out one of the pointy tips, and then I sand it down all the way around the toothpick. And you could do this by simply just turning the toothpick over and over again in the pan while you're sanding. And I'm using a triangular file to put the little um, heads of the drumsticks in place. But if you don't have one of these, just use your emery board, flip it on one side and sand going up at an angle, and then turn it to the other side and sand going down. And that will notch the top of the, the tip of the drumstick. and then cut off the thinnest portion of the toothpick from the rest of the toothpick and round it out the end. Then we put everything together. And you're done. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.